Who are, they're gonna? Oh, Elon! Send, they're gonna send their own planes up. Uh, you know, it's rockets. Yeah. yeah rockets. Um, <clears throat> I'm skeptical, uh, but I can tell you that the first people to do really expensive things, where there's the dangerous and people could die, and there's no known return on investment, those are not business people. Those are governments. The first Europeans to the New World were not the Dutch East India Trading Company. It was Columbus, funded by Spain. Then he draws the maps, and here's the trade winds, and here's where the hostels are and the friendlies are. Here's where you find the fruit that you can eat. Then you can make a business case for it. Otherwise, it's a really short meeting. If I say, hey, I'm gonna go to Mars, bring in all your venture capitalists, and they start asking questions. How much does it cost? I don't know, but a lot. And is it dangerous? Yeah, people probably die. What's my return on investment? I have no idea, probably zero. That's a five minute meeting and it doesn't happen. But you were um, willing to bet the farm, so to speak, on this. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I figured like I, would, I was willing to spend half the money that I got from yeah. PayPal yeah. Uh, with no expectation of return. Right. Um, because I thought this was just something that was pretty important and uh, yeah, I'm like, Seems like it could spend half the money on main and PayPal on this, and there'll be if, if that got NASA a bigger budget and resulted in us going to Mars, that would be a good, pretty good outcome. But the thing is that the, the premise for talking me out of it was, well, we think you're going to lose the money that you invest. And I was like, right. well, um, that was my expectation anyway, right. so I don't really mind if I lose. You know, I mean, I might, but I mean, it's, it's not. It's not like I was trying to figure out the rank ordered best way to invest money, right. and on that basis. Um, you know, chose space. Right. It's not like that's, <laughs> you know, I thought, wow. You weren't looking at like money, money market bonds, AAA bonds, right, exactly. rocket company. Like you weren't like, do real yeah, estate, yeah, yeah, I real, could, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, invest yeah. in shoe making, anything. <laughs> um, and whoa, space is, is <laughs> highest ROI. Yeah, exactly. that's, that is not what I, that is yeah. not, not, it wasn't the premise. People who've been in the rocketry business for decades, yeah. who say about you that you don't know what you don't know. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil uh, Armstrong, yeah. Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight and the way that you're developing it. That the new plan, as I understand it, will prohibit us from having human access to low Earth orbit on our own rockets and spacecraft until the private aerospace industry is able to qualify their hardware under development as rated for human occupancy. But having cut my teeth in rockets more than 50 years ago, I am not confident. The most experienced rocket engineers with whom I have spoken believe that it will require many years and substantial investment to reach the necessary level of safety and reliability. Now is the time to overrule this administration's pledge to mediocrity. Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight and the way that you're developing it. And I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that uh, because those guys are, yeah. You know, th those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes and to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. But when um, critics say you can't do this, your answer to them is... We've done it.